What's up guys? I'm taking a quick break. Had all these thoughts going through my head. I got off the phone a little earlier with my buddy Tar Design or from Tar Designs. And uh, you know, just the stuff we were talking about, man, was just so inspirational. We were talking about like all the people around us that we have noticed throughout this entire year during COVID and now that have started businesses, that have scaled them, uh, that have grown into massive companies. All these entrepreneurs that were born during this COVID thing, right? And not that it's a color thing at all whatsoever, because it doesn't matter what color you are. But when I look around and I see a, a lot of my fellow, you know, Latinos and black brothers and sisters, um, you know, people of all races, really, uh, that are really killing it right now. It brings me so much joy. And not that this is a color thing, because it's not a color thing at all. But I am so full of joy when I look around and I see my fellow Lat Latinos and, you know, my, my black brothers and sisters my Asian folks, everybody. I, I, you know, I, I'm so full of joy when I see how well that my fellow brothers and sisters are doing. Unfortunately, we don't have the same opportunities as many. I mean, we can create our opportunities, but still, you know, uh, this is the way life is, unfortunately, right? But when I see the amount of people that have become entrepreneurs that have created these successful companies, I mean, Look at Blank's galore. She has taken that thing from an idea to this empire. And the other company that I see side by side with her is my, my buddy Donesh's, you know, Silky Socks, right? And so to have an idea to grow into something that big, selling Blank's and, and selling her own transfer papers and offering classes, bu buying one building to the next building and just to see her business grow, right? Not only her, there's so many that I can name right now. Actually, I can't name it right now at the top of my head because there's so many of them. But I'm so proud to be in a community full of people who are so like-minded, who have that same goal in mind to be to become entrepreneurs, or to, to not only become entrepreneurs, to become successful entrepreneurs, to work for themselves, to not have to report to anybody, to, to create the life that they've always envisioned for themselves. That's so motivating. Now, people continue to ask me, like, how are you hooking up with all these companies? I can't tell you that. Why are you watching me? How did you find me? What is it about me that makes you want to watch what I'm doing? I guess that would be the answer. I think these companies are seeing the same exact thing. Now, in saying that, I don't want to forget. I want to let you know that these companies need us. These companies need us. That's the truth. Whether they want to admit it or whether anyone takes that personal, it's the truth. These companies need us. My boy Stan Banks did a video yesterday on YouTube and one of my friends sent it to me and said, hey man, Stan shouted you out. We, me and Stan talk all the time, so it's a wonderful thing. But um, he said something that's actually true, is I had been using a laminator for a couple of years to laminate you know, stickers and things like that. And then to do some lamination when I was struggling with my eye color, I couldn't marry my sheets. So I thought to myself, let me try the lamination process. Now look, I can't say they took it from me or they bit me. Who knows, right? I do know this though is that I put several videos up showing people how to use a laminator over, I think maybe a year and a half ago or something. Uh, someone reached out and said, hey man, like is that a laminator? How do you use that? He made a YouTube video. I guess it took off. And I saw that Uninet then put something on their website uh, where it's now showing the process of using a laminator. Who knows? But I know I never got any credit for it. I don't need any credit for it. I say that to say that what Stan was saying in his video made so much sense is that these companies don't even realize that there are so many other little ways to make things work a little bit better with their machines and stuff like that. And we may not get all the credit sometimes. It'd be nice if we did, but they need us. They need our community. And I'm not saying that to say the race car thing against I'm not. But I know that in my community, uh, that's a little less fortunate sometimes, there are so many bright, smart, intelligent people that if you just put a, a, a tool in their hand, they'll show you how to how to work that thing a million zillion ways that you didn't initially think that you know you could do. The same thing that I'm trying to do is every time I get a piece of equipment, I'm trying to do something I haven't seen anybody else do and make it my own way, make it function for me. And if these companies see that, maybe they can implement that in their training process. And that happens all of the time. But don't be fooled, guys. Do not be fooled to think that influencers that are on a whole other level, that companies aren't watching your page just because it's small. They do. And without naming any names, I know that a couple have since taken things that I've said, not my close ones, but I know some other influencers that have popped in, taken a word or two, made it their own, not even their own, just took it all the way across, 
And I'm fine with that. I'm not mad at it because what it lets me know is that I am on the right path. I must be doing something right or coming up with some ideas that that are that are really sticking uh, enough so that some people are borrowing or taking it and applying it to themselves. It is what it is. But what I want to let you know again is that just continue to work. Get in front of this camera. Show your process. They are watching. Everybody's watching. Whether you think that they are or not, they are. And it doesn't matter. You might have 100 followers. They're watching. And they need you. They need me. They need people like us. I'll tell you right now, not that anybody else can't do it. Those that know me know I have been in the music industry for pretty much my whole entire life. I have a publisher. I'm a, I'm a songwriter, singer, songwriter, producer. I have a lot of music industry friends. A lot of big name music industry friends. And so I know that there are several companies out there that know I have that link. I'm a middleman. Sometimes that's what they need us for, right? But, but I know with my industry friends or whatever else, they're not easily conned like that. And we're very loyal to each other, believe it or not. So if I print for my industry friends, you're not going to. A lot of people aren't going to. So unless I say, hey, look, I'm willing to pass you somebody or I'm willing to connect you to somebody, it probably won't happen. So that's where I know that that's my strong point. Find what that is for you. Find what it is that makes you unique from that. I know that that's what makes me unique because I have that connection, right? And that's not to say that I'm better than anybody else because I'm totally not. What it does let me know, what it shows me clearly is that my music industry connections, my music industry friends, are very important to a lot of these businesses. What artist doesn't need merch? They all do. We all needed merch, right? And so I know for myself, I'm gonna always have that connection. I will always have work. They will always trust me to press their merchandise. So I'm an asset to a lot of companies who are trying to reach a lot of these artists or even actors. I'm also in the boxing community. Um, one of my cousins, Estevan, if you guys know of Estevan Oriol, he is one of the most popular, one of the most famous photographers on this planet. Of course, he shoots a lot of lowrider stuff, a lot of LA type stuff. Uh, if you follow uh, you know, his series, um, I know he had something on Netflix. Can't think of the name of it right now. It had to do with Los Angeles, uh, working with Mr. Cartoon, the tattoo uh, specialist. And my cousin has uh, photographed many of today's leading stars, musicians. So I have a lot of these little connections everywhere. And so I will always have work. So I know that for me, I know that for me, I am an asset to any of these companies that want to connect with me and connect with any of these folks. I'm an easier access to a lot of these folks, I wanna say. Now that's not to toot my horn because it's, that's not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to point out is that there's something about you that each and every single one of these companies that you watch once they take notice of you, that they want a part of. Let that be known. Show that. And make them work for it too. Don't beg these companies to, I want to be an influencer. I want to be an influencer. You know what? Eventually, let these companies beg for you. They might not think that they need you. And there might be some influencers that don't agree with me right now. And it's, it's the truth. Maybe some of these companies don't need you. They don't need me. But they want you. They want us. And if they do, let's, let's start flipping the table a little bit. Make them earn it also. I'm going to get your machines. I'm going to get your transfers. I'm going to get your apparel. And I'm going to do some content. But if you like my content enough, then eventually pay me what I'm worth too, right? That's, a, that's what we're all trying to get to. I'm still going to have business regardless. But if I'm talking about anybody and I'm putting in as much work as I'm putting in, day in and day out, and I'm using your product, and I'm speaking you up, and I'm not picking on any single you know, company at all that I work with, not at all whatsoever, because the ones that I work with that I'm tied into, they take care of me. But I'm saying for anybody else, when you reach out to any of us smaller up and coming influencers, understand that a lot of us with some brains know our worth. And if you wanna work with us like we wanna work with you, let's build a network, let's build a relationship, let's work together, let's tie in everybody, every single industry there is. There's room for all of us to win. Now, you know me when I talk, I just start going off on a bunch of different topics all at one time. So just stay with me. At the end of this conversation, though, what I want you to get out of it is that you are worth something. They need you. You're important. 
you will be successful, you're going to be this entrepreneur that you've always wanted to be, and nobody can stop you but you. What is meant for you, nobody or nothing can take that away but yourself. Along this path, you're gonna hit a bunch of little roadblocks. You're gonna get over those roadblocks easily. Might hurt a little bit, but you will. There'll be people that like you and love you. There'll be people that hate on you and don't agree with you. You're gonna run into people who feel like you don't even belong in this industry. We don't give a damn about those. Because what's most important is that we're going to build this life for ourselves that we've always wanted and nothing and no one is going to stop us. I'm not afraid to speak to the camera. I'm not afraid to speak to you guys. I might sound silly sometimes. You know, I might come off a little dorky, a little weird to some folks, not that it matters, but for some odd reason, it's attracting people to come watch what I'm doing, right? Like the number one thing that I want people to get from anything that I do is the motivation that I'm trying to give you guys to show you that in this short span of time, I created a successful business from home. Uh, the next few months are going to be very interesting. You know, I connected with my, my, my buddy Reyes, who's now become my business partner. And what we have in store is going to be amazing to see those steps unfold and hopefully be able to motivate people to follow those same exact steps. I'm super excited to show you guys that there is so much room for all of us to win. There is so much room to be successful in this business. You get out of it what you put into it. But I think you have to decide on what it is that you want out of it. If you're trying to become an influencer, a YouTuber, or whatever else that is, then that's something separate. A lot of folks have this, this notion in mind that if I just do a couple of videos, I'm, I'm gonna become this big YouTube star. And that's not, that's not the case all the time. But do you wanna be a YouTube star? Are you trying to teach people, influence people? Do you wanna just have a business that you, you make money at and you don't care about the YouTube stuff, decide what that is. Because a lot of people, I think that in my opinion, a lot of people aren't doing it for the same reason that I am. I'm really trying to create a business, a successful one, turn it into something even bigger than what it uh, originally was. I don't so much care for trying to be this YouTube person or anything on social media really. This is more of a journal for me. So there are a lot of people unfortunately who are out there to just connect with somebody and say, oh, I connected with them, man, they're my friends now. And, and then that's what brings them joy. For me, I don't care about connecting with anyone because at the end of the day, I have to make things happen for myself. Whoever connects with me along that path, it was meant to be. But you have to decide what it is that you want. Why are you in this business? Are you in this business to make money, to grow it, to be your own distributor, to learn more, to network with people, to travel, to be able to have enough money to buy and upgrade equipment? Um, or are you just trying to be a YouTube star? Which one, right? I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day because it is your business. But I just wanna say that I am proud of each and every single one of you. I thank you for those that have connected with me, the ones that I'm networking with, the ones that I'm building with, the ones that have become my close friends now. I am so proud of each and every single one of you. Thank you for pouring into what I'm doing. And I'm excited for what the future holds. Again, I think there's just so much room for everybody. And this is just the beginning. What's the future hold? I'm excited to see. That's all I wanted to say. I'm out.